Hello everyone! Welcome po ulit sa ating Matisip YouTube channel where you can find free Tagalog mathematics tutorial. Our topic for today is all about geometric sequence. Alright, so before we start, let me just encourage everyone to please click the subscribe button pag hindi pa po tayo nakakapag-subscribe. And you can also follow us on Facebook, uh, especially for our fellow teachers. If you want to avail of our PowerPoint presentation, you can just uh, inquire sa amin pong Facebook page. Okay, and sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag click ng notification bell you can just click the notification bell para po updated tayo sa mga susunod pang mga lessons All right so without further ado let's now begin with our lesson okay so we have here our learning competency uh, again this is to formulate the rule for finding the next term in a sequence by looking for pattern so last uh, video tutorial we focus on arithmetic sequence ngayon naman po ang focus natin ay geometric sequence so meron pa po ba ang ibang mga sequences madami pa po pero ang focus lang po natin ngayon ay geometric sequence right. so let's start first with a review of our previous lesson on arithmetic sequence kung hindi nyo pa po napapanood uh, panoorin nyo po muna para mas maintindihan nyo po yung lesson natin for today Okay, so these are examples of sequences. Okay, a sequence is a list of set of numbers that follows a specific order or pattern. Sequences can be either finite or infinite. So finite or infinite, ito po yung example ng infinite. Ito naman po yung sa finite. Finite are countable while infinite are endless. Okay, ano po po yung mga terms na related sa ating topic? We have term, pattern, and rule. Okay, also, we talk about arithmetic sequence. Nagbigay po tayo ng mga examples and then exercise in the previous one. And yung mga symbols po na ginamit natin, we have here the n term where n is the position. Okay, or a sub n is the n term and n is the position. We also use the common difference. Ito na po yung dinadagdag natin sa bawat term para makuha yung mga susunod pang mga term when it comes to arithmetic sequence. Because arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each succeeding term is obtained by adding a fixed number which we call the common difference. Okay, how about in our geometric sequence? Ganun din po ba ang gagawin natin? What do you think? Alright, so today we are going to discuss kung paano po natin makuha ang geometric sequence. Okay, let's explore this sequence. We have here the sequence 3, 6, 12, 24, blank. Question is, do this set of numbers follow a specific rule or pattern? If your answer is yes, then what will be the next term? Okay, ano kaya ang susunod dito? Well, if your answer is 48, you are correct. Okay, paano po kaya natin nakuha yung 48? We will explore later on. But first, let's have geometric sequence. Ito po ang example ng geometric sequence. What is geometric sequence? Okay, geometric sequence is a sequence in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying a fixed number. Okay, let's have first the symbols or notations na ginagamit natin sa geometric sequence. So, ganun din po, katulad sa arithmetic sequence, we use the n term or the a sub n where n here is the position. Okay? Okay, so we have here, 3 is our first term or a sub 1, 6 is our second term or a sub 2, and then 12 is our a sub 3, 24 is our fourth term, and 48 now here is our fifth term or a sub 5. Okay, meron din po tayong tinatawag na common ratio. Okay, kung sa arithmetic sequence, ang tawag po natin doon ay common difference, dito naman po sa geometric sequence, ang tawag po natin doon ay common ratio. Ito na po yung minumultiply nating fixed number sa geometric sequence. It is denoted by letter R. So, here we have 3 para makuha si 6, minultiply lang natin si 3 by or what we call the common ratio which is 2, ganun din po dito, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, and para makuha natin yung 48 kanina, we just multiply also 24 by 2. Ang tawag na po natin doon ay recursive formula, meaning it defines each term based on the previous term. Okay? So katulad din po sa arithmetic sequence, ang recursive formula naman dito sa geometric sequence ay a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 times r. Meaning if you want to find a sub 5, ang pattern lang po dyan is to uh, multiply yung uh, 
preceding term, yung sinusundan niyang term, which is a sub 4, kasi nga n minus 1. If n here is 5, n minus 1 is 4. Okay? So, our a sub 4, multiply lang natin sa ating common ratio in order for us to get 48. So, ganun lang po kasimple. Ano? Ang recursive formula. So, ano po ang susunod sa 48? Ganun din po ulit. Imumultiply mo lang sa 2 para makuha mo yung susunod. Okay? Okay, now, what if you want to find the 12 term? Paano po yun? So, paano natin hahanapin yung 12 term? Not necessarily na yung susunod dun sa last na term. Lalo na po kung ito ay infinite set. So, in order for us to do this, we also need to formulate a general rule or formula. So, let's explore what is the general rule or formula. Let's have this pattern. Okay, gamit ulit tayo ng table. So, we have the first column which is the position, yung n or the number of order. So, we have here the first one, 2, 3, 4, and 5 since lima naman po yung given natin. Ang ating a sub n or yung n term natin is yung value. Okay, ano po yung value ng first term? It's 3. Second term is 6, uh, third term is 12, and then fourth is 24, fifth is 48. Now, let's look at the pattern. Dito sa una, para makuha natin yung 3 is just let it be. And then, para makuha naman natin si 6, parang minultiply lang natin si first term na 3 by 2. Ganun din po kay 12, minultiply natin yung first term na 3 by 2 by 2 again, dalawang 2. So, ganun din po. 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 kay 24. Kay 48 naman po ay 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. If we're going to simplify the pattern, parang we multiply lang natin si 3 by how many 2s? We multiply it by 4 2s. Okay, so we have here 2 raised to 4. Remember, 2 raised to 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. How about this uh, fourth term, si 24. Ang ginawa natin kay first term, which is 3, ano, ang ginawa natin is minultiply naman natin siya sa 2 raised to 3. Kasi tatlong 2 yan. Next, dito naman, we have here 3 times 2 raised to 2. And then here, we have here 3 times 2 raised to 1. And then lastly, we have here 3 times 2 raised to 0. Remember, anything raised to 0 is equal to 1. So 1 times 3 is 3. Okay, kaya kung i-generalize natin basing on our observation from this pattern, ang formula na natin ngayon is we have here a sub n is equal to yung first term which is a sub 1 times yung ating r which is the common ratio dito in this case is 3 uh, raised to n minus 1. Okay, ano po yung n minus 1? yun po yung sinusundan ng n. Ano yung n natin dito? It's the position. So, if we're looking for the fifth term, ano ang n minus 1? It's 4. If we're looking for the fourth term, ano ang n minus 1? It's 3. If we're looking for the third term, ano ang n minus 1? It's 2. So, ito na po yung ating formula. Ang tawag po natin sa ganitong formula ay explicit formula. Katulad din po sa arithmetic sequence. Remember, explicit formula defines any term based on its position without referring to the previous one. Okay? So, kahit anong uh, uh, term po ang hinahanap natin, pwede natin gamitin ito sa geometric sequence. Okay? So, let's have an example. Okay? Basing from our example kanina, let's find out what if we want to find the 12 term. Okay, so kung yung 12 term ang hinahanap natin, we don't need to multiply the following numbers by the common ratio. No? Hanggang sa maabot natin yung 12 term, pwede na pong shortcut using this formula. Okay, so first, what is the general rule or formula? Pwede tayong gumawa ng panibagong formula basing from this explicit formula na nakabase rin po sa ating sequence. Okay, so let's try. We have the n term formula. So from our explicit formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times uh, r raised to n minus 1. Ang gagawin lang natin, yung a sub 1, which is yung ating first term, isubstitute natin, gawin nating 3. At yung common ratio, which is 2, okay, substitute lang natin sa r. Next, pwede pa bang masimplify ito? Hindi na. So, ito na mismo yung uh, bagong formula. So, I repeat, a sub n is equal to 3 times 2 raised to n minus 1. Gamitin natin to para makuha yung 12 terms. So, try natin. So, we have here a sub n is equal to 3 times 2 raised to n minus 1. Substitute lang natin yung n. Since ang hinahanap natin is yung 12 uh, uh, term, 12 term, so gawin natin 12 cn. Pati rin po yung ating exponent dito. 
So, n minus 1 is 12 minus 1. That's why this is 11. Okay? So, 2 raised to 11. Ano po ang unayin natin? Pwede ba natin? Pwede man nating i-multiply si 3 by 2 kaagad? Hindi po. Exponent po muna tayo. Remember the uh, PEMDAS rule or GEMDAS rule. So we have here 2 raised to 11. This is actually 2048. Kung i-multiply mo si 2 by itself 11 times, you will get this number. Tsaka mo i-multiply kay 3. Therefore, our answer is 6144. Ito na po yung ating uh, 12 term. 6,144 using our new formula uh, based sa ating explicit formula. Okay, let's have another example. What is the nth term formula? What is the seventh term of this sequence? So this is also a geometric sequence. 64, naging 16, naging 4, naging 1. But if you compare this with our first example kanina, papaliit po ng papaliit yung number. Okay? Now, ano kaya yung common ratio? Yung number na minultiply natin para makuha yung mga susunod na terms sa ating sequence. Okay, malalaman natin later on. But first, let's have the formula. Okay, formula is in our explicit formula. We have here a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. I-memorize nyo po itong explicit formula. Uh, gagamitin po natin yan sa kahit anong klase ng geometric sequence. Now, substitute natin ang ating uh, ratio kung titignan nyo, 64 Naging 16, parang minultiply lang natin sa 1 fourth. Okay? Parang hinati natin siya into 4 uh, parts, kaya naging 16. So, 16 times 1 fourth will also give you 4. 4 times 1 fourth, you will get uh, also 1. Or in other words, parang dinivide natin siya into 4. 64 divided by 4 is 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Okay, yun po yung ating common ratio. Substitute na po natin dito. And then, ang ating first term ay 64. I-substitute din po natin sa a sub 1. Okay, now can we still simplify this? Hindi na po. Ito na yung ating bagong formula. We will use this to find that 12 term. So, let us substitute in this new formula. So, so yung n magiging 7 since ang hinahanap natin ay a sub 7 or yung 7 term. Now, dito sa ating exponent, we have here n minus 1. So, 7 minus 1, it will give you 6. Okay, so we have now here a sub 7 is equal to 64 times 1 fourth raised to 6. Unahin muna natin yung exponent. 1 fourth raised to 6, meaning multiply natin sa sarili niya 6 times. So, pag ginawa natin yon in the fraction form, we will get this number. 1 over 4096. Okay. Ngayon, multiply na natin kay 64. So, to do that, remember, you can multiply 64 by the numerator, saka mo lang siya i-divide. Pero kung hindi mo ma-divide, you just need to simplify. Therefore, ang ating sagot ay 1 over 64. Paano po naging 1 over 64? 64 times 1, tapos dito sa baba, 4096, uh, meron silang common uh, divisor which is 64. Kaya magiging 1 over 64 po siya. Okay, yun na po yung ating final answer. Our 7th term is 1 over 64. Okay, for you to practice, I have here two item exercise para rin pong yung example natin kanina. Okay, find the nth term formula of the sequence, then use your formula to find the term indicated. So, dito, ang sequence natin for number 1 is 2, 8, 32, 128. Okay? Uh, kunin nyo yung formula para makuha nyo yung 7 term. Ganun din dito sa number 2, 150, 25, 12.5. You get the 10 term. Alright? Okay? So, you can pause this video and then do this in your paper. 
try to go back to our examples kanina kung hindi nyo po masyadong naintindihan and then try to apply it on this exercise. God bless po sa inyong pagsagot. Then afterwards, you can come back dito and then play para po mai-explain natin yung mga sagot or yung solutions for these exercises. God bless po sa pagsagot. Okay, I hope you are now ready. Let's now check your answers. Okay, let's have number one first. Okay, dito sa ating sequence, we have 2, 8, 32, 128. Let's find out the formula. Okay, identify muna natin yung first term which is 2. And then, ano yung formula natin? It's just a sub n is equal to 2 times 4 raised to n minus 1. Okay, basing lang po ito sa ating explicit uh, formula. Next, let's now find the seventh term. Sub substitute lang po natin. So, ang ating n po dito ah, magiging uh, 7. So, we have here uh, 7 minus 1. So, we will get 6. So, 2 times 4 raised to 6. 4 raised to 6 is uh, 4,096. Imumultiply lang po natin siya sa 2. Makukuha na po natin yung 8,192. Okay? Next, for number 2, we have here the sequence. 150, 25, and then 12.5. Now, let's find out the n term. Yung form formula po natin is we have a sub n is equal to 100 times 0 0.5 raised to n minus 1. Okay, so let's substitute. Yung n natin dito is 10. So we have here 10 minus 1. That's why we have here 9. Dito naman po, yung n natin ginawa na nating 10. Okay, so 0 0.5 raised to 9. Kung imumultiply po natin siya sa sarili niya 9 times, pwede pong in a fraction form or in a decimal. So kung fraction form po ang ginamit nyo, magiging 1 over 512. So kapag minultiply natin kay 100, magiging 100 over 512. Kung isisimplify po natin siya further, we will get 25 over 128 by dividing the numerator and denominator by 4. Makukuha nyo po ito, simplified form. Kung hindi naman po fractions ang ginamit, pwede rin po itong decimal. So, 0 0.1953. Okay? So, yun po yung ating sagot. I hope nakuha nyo po ng tama. Yung... Now, if you want further practice, we have here another set of activity. Okay? Two items din po ito. Find the end term formula of the sequence. Then, use your formula to find the term indicated. So, katulad din po sa exercises natin kanina and sa mga examples po natin kanina. So, God bless po sa inyong pagsagot dito. And if your teacher is using these PowerPoint presentations, you can now check this uh, activity using your teacher's PowerPoint presentations. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you again on our next videos. For now, God bless po sa inyong pag-aaral and bye-bye. Kung meron kang natutunan sa video na ito, please click the subscribe button to support this channel para mas matulungan ulit kita sa mga susunod mo pang math lessons. Lagi mong tatandaan, ang math ay para sa lahat. At ako si Teacher Van, nagsasabing dito sa mat isip, lamang ang nag-iisip. God bless and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.